Hello, and welcome to this week's Penn Energy News Update. On behalf of our generous sponsor, Deloitte Center for Energy Solutions, who made this broadcast possible, I'm Hilton Price. Total has shut down production at three fields and evacuated a drilling platform after a leak was discovered at its Elgin field in the North Sea. An oil sheen has been confirmed on the surface of the sea near the platform. Total says Oil Spill Response Limited has been notified and is evaluating the sheen. Total is currently trying to locate the source of the leak and bring it under control. No injuries have been reported. Full platform evacuations and shutdowns are extremely rare for the offshore industry. Enbridge and Enterprise Products Partners have announced they have secured capacity commitments from shippers to proceed with an expansion of the Seaway pipeline. The expansion will more than double its capacity to 850,000 barrels per day by mid-2014. Enterprise and Enbridge are nearing completion of the first phase of the reversal of the Seaway pipeline, which will provide 150,000 barrels per day of southbound takeaway capacity from Cushing, Oklahoma to the Gulf Coast by June of this year. Enbridge also announced plans to proceed with an expansion of its Flanagan South project, which will add incremental capacity for shippers seeking transportation from Flanagan, Illinois to the U.S. Gulf Coast. Canada-based oil companies Africa Oil and Tulo Oil have announced they have found oil deposits in the East African nation of Kenya for the first time. Reuters reports that more companies have been conducting oil and gas exploration in the region since the discovery of significant oil and gas deposits in neighboring Uganda and Tanzania, as well as Mozambique further to the south. Africa Oil compared the size of the Kenya discovery to the recent find in Uganda, which could range between 1.1 billion barrels and 1.4 billion barrels. API and the Joint Industry Task Forces have released the final of three reports on offshore safety and a progress report on the upcoming fourth report. The documents provide positive recommendations to the government on how to improve offshore safety. The task forces were assembled to focus on critical areas of Gulf of Mexico offshore activity following the Gulf spill. The task forces worked with federal agencies involved in regulating offshore activities, the Independent Presidential Commission, members of Congress, and other organizations. For more on the reports, API, and the offshore industry, head to penenergy.com. The Department of the Interior is seeking input from industry leaders to determine interest in oil and gas exploration off the coast of South Central Alaska. It could be the precursor to a potential oil and natural gas lease sale in the Cook Inlet planning area. According to the Obama administration, this is the latest step towards responsible production in Alaska's offshore areas and is part of the administration's all-of-the-above energy strategy. If planning for a potential sale moves forward, the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management will then conduct an environmental review and consultation under the National Environmental Policy Act and other laws. BOEM will remain in close coordination with the state of Alaska, as well as with local and native Alaskan governments and other stakeholders throughout this process. Thank you for joining us this week. For these stories and more, go to penenergy.com. <laughs>